Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will be understanding how to show a pop-up on a button click. So in my previous two videos, we have understood how to create a pop-up, how to show a pop-up using pop-up builder plugin, how to show it on automatic load of the website. And we have also understood how to show a query form inside a pop-up, but all these two pop-ups were showing or displayed on the website automatically, like in this case. So if I'm refreshing the website after five seconds, the query form pop-up will be displayed automatically. And that is the rule that that was the setting right now like this. But if I let's say I want to show this pop up only when someone clicks on a particular button, let's say I will change this button to click me or maybe contact us or maybe query now. And once the button is clicked, then only the pop up should be displayed. So how to achieve this functionality? That is the agenda for this particular video. So watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new on the channel. So in order to achieve this functionality, let's go to the WordPress dashboard and here we have two pop-ups. So let's see if you want to show this query pop-up on a button click instead of auto pop-up. So what we need to do is we need to just copy this particular class. We need to copy this particular class of the pop-up from here like this. And now we will go to the page where we want to add this pop-up on a button. So we want to add it on the home page on this button. So let's click on edit with Elementor. Once we click on edit with Elementor, the editing window will be opened up and here from this particular button, we will edit this button and instead of shop now, I will say contact us, contact us, right? And we will remove this link in order to display the pop-up and the CSS class that we copied will go to advanced setting and we will place it here in the CSS classes. So that is one thing that you need to do. So after doing this, come back to the pop-up again and now click on this pop-up because we need to change the rule here as well. Right now the display rule or the event is auto pop uh, auto. So we need to change it. So we'll say we go to events and instead of on load, we will need to click on on click, right? And this is the class that we have chosen. Now click on update. So we have changed the button. We have added the class and we have changed the event on the pop-up as well. Now, if you go to the website, now let's remove this editing window and come back to the home page of the website. So let's wait whether let's see whether the pop-up is coming after five seconds or not, because we have removed the auto load, load uh, auto load event. Yes. So now the pop-up is not coming automatically. Now let's click on this button. So as soon as I click on this button, you can see the pop-up is there only when I click on the button. If I again click on the button, you can see the pop-up is coming. So this is how you can add a pop-up or you can show a pop-up only on a button click. Now there is other functionalities as well. Let's say if you want to show the pop-up on the hover of the button, not clicking, but if someone, you know, is taking the mouse on the button, then also the pop-up should be displayed. So for that, just change the on click to on hover and then update the pop-up settings. The CSS class will remain same. Now refresh the page. And this time, even if I hover on the button, I think the class has been changed. So this is the class that we need to copy. So let's see if the class changes on click and on hover. Yes, the class changes. So on hover, the class is different. So we'll just copy this class, update the setting here, come back to the page, click on edit with Elementor and we need to change the class which we initially added for showing on click. So we'll go to this button setting, go to the advanced and here on the class section, we'll remove the previous one and we'll paste the new one and click on update. So these are the two settings that we changed. Now let's preview the changes. And as soon as I hover on it, you can see as soon as I hover on it, I'm not clicking on it. I'm just taking my mouse cursor on the button and the pop-up is displayed. So these are the two other methods as well, apart from auto load that if you want to show the pop pop-up on the click, then you can do that. And if you want to show on the hover like this, then you can also show the pop-up like this. And it is not compulsory to show only the query form. You can use this method even if you want to show an image or maybe subscriber form or any other thing in your pop-up.
So that's how you can show a pop up on a button click or on hover of a button. So I hope you like this video. And if you did, you know the drill. You need to like this video, subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you never miss an update whenever we update these kind of useful videos on our YouTube channel. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Have a nice day.